Hi, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be participating in another tablescape and this one is called the Headbangers Tablescape. And it's hosted by Mary from At Home with Mary and co-hosted by Tammy from me, myself, and DIYing It. And I'm going to list both their channels down below in the description box along with the playlist. So go and check both of them out along with everybody on the playlist because there's going to be some great tablescapes with this. Now I'll show you what I did and I'll kind of tell you what they wanted us to do. They wanted us to use headbands. They didn't care what kind of headbands or what color headbands. They just wanted us to use some headbands for our tablescape. They didn't care how we used them, just to use them. So when I was in the store the other day, I saw a couple people wearing these bandanas around their nose and their mouth, and it kind of reminded me of the Old West. And so kind of thinking about that and you know so many people are wearing these right now with the COVID-19 so I decided to kind of make mine as a play off from that bandana I saw wrapped around their mouth and make kind of a western themed tablescape out of them. So you can see here I wrapped this red one right around this first cowboy hat and then I wrapped a black one around that solid black cowboy hat. And here in the centerpiece, in between the two cowboy hats, I have this wooden tray. And on top of that wooden tray, I have this candle holder. And then back behind that, I have this weather vane. And I really like this weather vane. It kind of seemed to fit the theme because it's something that I thought you might see on like a barn. And I thought that really fit in with the cowboy hats. So I did that, and then on each side of the cowboy hats, I added in another set of candles. And then what I have is our actual table setting itself. And let me show you what I did for that. I started with no tablecloth. I just wanted my wood table. And then I put this wicker placemat. And on top of the wicker placemat, I placed this galvanized metal charger. And I got the charger from Dollar General, and I believe the placemat came from Meyer. Then I have a Dollar Tree black plate. And right here, you can see this looks like a Pioneer Woman plate, but it actually isn't. You can see here, I just paid $2 for this at Dollar General. And it's just kind of their version of Pioneer Woman. It's, the colors are a little more muted on this plate than on the actual Pioneer Woman's plates. Then on top of that, I'm just going to go ahead and add this black butter plate. Just like that. And that is the actual table setting. And then here on the right side of our table setting, I'm going to use my black flatware. And my daughter's purchased this for me. For Mother's Day and then underneath that I have this aqua colored bandana that I am using as our napkin and that aqua color I thought just kind of tied in with that aqua color kind of around the rim of that salad plate and then we have this smoky black goblet from Dollar Tree and here on the other side, I have this little fruit cup, which I picked up at Meyer. Now this place setting over here is the exact same as the other one, except I use this navy blue bandana as the napkin on this side instead of another aqua colored one. And again here, you can see that I just have my red bandana just tied around the brim of this first cowboy hat here. And then here's my little wooden tray with my weather vane and my candle in it. Now the cowboy hats, I don't remember exactly where I got them. I think the all black one or the, yeah, I think the all black one, I 
I think I picked that up in Mesquite, Texas. I'm not sure where we got the other one. I just don't remember. They're both, they're pretty old, both of them. And then all the candles that are on the table were all thrifted at the thrift store, as well as the weather vane that was also thrifted at the thrift store. And I purchased all of those things, I think last year. I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching.